Here we are again, back at the bar. It's me, Kathleen Hart here from the Little Piece of Heart blog. Today I am going to share with you my favorite, favorite, favorite cocktail recipe, the whiskey sour. This is my go-to drink. When I'm not drinking red wine and I'm out somewhere, especially weddings, I will have a whiskey sour in my hand all night. It's my favorite thing. It's actually like a guilty pleasure because I don't get to have them that often, but when I do have them, oh, they are amazing. Now, when you think of whiskey sour and making them yourself at home, you kind of can go off on a tangent in your head. You can be thinking, I need to make a homemade sour mix and I need to make a simple syrup and I need to have all different kinds of crazy whiskey or bourbon. No, 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 no. I am putting all of that away. Out of, get that out of your head because it is so simple to make a whiskey sour at home that not only you're controlling all the ingredients, but it has low carbs, uh, you know, low calorie too. I mean, the only calories that we're gonna have in this is the whiskey itself. I'm gonna be using Jack Daniels today. Use any kind of whiskey or bourbon that you like. That's the coolest part. So, we're gonna only be using a shot of it today. Add more, add less, depending on how strong you want your drink to be. We're also gonna be using a shot of water, which I have in here. We're gonna be using one lemon. And actually, before I cut it in half, as you can see, some of the rind is taken away. I actually cut a little strip for a garnish. I'm not going to use a maraschino cherry to garnish this because that's all that is is extra carbs. You can if you want to. It's up to you. But, you know, for two carbs per cherry about, I'm, not, I'm just going to use a lemon rind. And actually, if you twist it in your hands like this, you can see that when you put it on the glass, it kind of curls and looks cute. You can drop it in too. Up to you. Just something cute that I did, but do that before you cut the lemon in half. Uh, and the last ingredient is that liquid stevia that I've talked about in some of my other cocktails. Now this just really brings the flavors together. We have a lot of acid with the lemon. We got the strong alcohol taste from the whiskey, so we want to have a little bit of sweetener. I love stevia. I love this little liquid stevia pack. Pop it open, squeeze it. I carry this in my purse. I use this all the time. The only kind of sugar that I have now is stevia or trivia in my coffee. But since we're making a cold drink, we got to use liquid. So use your favorite liquid sweetener, whatever that may be. And it's literally going to come together so quick. So don't lose me. Here we go. We are going to put in here a couple ice cubes, just in our shaker. If you don't have a shaker, you can use two glasses, shake it together, or just use one glass and just mix it. It's fine. It does the same job. And then also while I'm in the ice bowl, I'm also going to put some into my glass here. Slippery. And I'm using my hands because I'm drinking this. If I wasn't, I would use ice tongs. So it's fine. It's cocktail making. It's whatever. All right. Maybe one more. There we go. All right. Perfect. So to my shaker, I am going to add in one shot of Jack Daniels. Use any kind of whiskey you want. Use as much as you want, as you want or as less as you want. It's up to you. Going in with a shot of cold water. Right in. Then we are going to go in with our lemon. We're going to do one whole lemon. Juice right in there. Perfect. Go in with the next one. Great. Whoop. Overflowed a little. That's all right. Now, onto the stevia. This is how little I'm actually going to use in this drink. I'm going to do two squirts. Ready? Here we go. One, two. That's it. Feel free to add more. Feel free to leave this out. But, you know, I think it really adds to the cocktail. So taste it with it first and see. Tell me what you think. I'm going to put the lid on. And we are going to shake this up. Perfect. All right. We got our lemon rind on here already. Let's pour this right in. Beautiful. And I like to use these fancy wine glasses because I think they really show off a cocktail really well. And it's good for presenting because it's clear. So that's why. So let's go in and take a sip of this, baby. Ah, oh, there it is. That's it. This is my favorite drink in the world. I'm telling you. Ah, oh, it tastes like Number one, I made my own sour mix. Number two, it tastes like I have some kind of crazy simple syrup going on in here because it's just a little kiss of sweetness. And then, 
Ooh, that fresh lemon. Try to use fresh lemon if you can. If you can't, it's fine. Use bottled lemon juice. It's fine. But I really feel like this drink just brings me back to me sitting and having a good time wherever the last time I was that I had it. For me, it was a wedding. And I just feel myself sitting there just enjoying it, being happy. So if you guys like whiskey sours, please try this. Let me know what you think. So a few simple ingredients and you can have this right at your house. You don't need to pay, you know, a ton of money for a drink at a bar. This is where it's at. You need to try this. Let me know what you think. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. Let me know if you want to see any other cocktails being made into a low carb version that you can make at home. And subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any recipes, whether it be breakfast, lunch, dinner, cocktails, desserts. I'm doing it all, so don't miss it. And if you were looking for this recipe, just in case you missed it, the exact measurements, go to my blog, Little Piece of Heart. Cat Hardier, signing out again. I'm going to go enjoy this drink, and you have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys soon.